I, I think back to the, my my story, you know, I kind of like enterprise software guy, but before I work in the SAP for BI software, like business intelligence product. And, and then I, in 2012, I uh, joined the Splunk, you know, spent like six years there. Just more about like, probably you know the Splunk actually, they are actually to make like a big data actually a little bit more kind of a near real time, you know, enable like IT or, you know, security operation guide to make the real time decision. But, uh, you know, we still like consider, you know, analytics still very slow, right? So a lot of the analytics software just pretty much like for dashboarding or reporting. But if you enable like the end user say, make a decision, you know, but it's really hard. So so that's why we, two years ago, is so how, you know, so we, we consider that's a very great opportunity to make like a real time and, and like a latency sensitive application, analytic application. So that's why so so lucky, you know, to collaborate with uh, Charles the memory verge to, you know, I think that's the two word actually, they can get a converge. I think Tony also mentions a lot of use case, you know, like a high frequency, like a trading or a lot of thing. Actually, 10 plus right now is working with uh, some financial, the customer to working on this domain. Uh, the, the, the customer really care about the latency. But it, we talk about latency, not a really nanosecond, but it actually is a millisecond or maybe, or maybe like a even, we, on the, below the, the one second. So I think it's a lot of the different use case. Uh, so yeah, in general, I just like a very quick introduction about the, our model. Is a, it's not a, you know, technology here, just like, a, it's really like a very different uh, database, but we call the, some industry called a streaming database or maybe some something called a, you know, maybe not a typical database because, you know, not a purely index driven. So it's really like a, so we call the appended lock, you know, structure. So that's a, something very different compared to the index heavy uh, database. The second thing we introduce a lot of use case. I think Charles also introduced one, like a failover, like a recovery use case. But we actually, a lot of the uh, relevant use case, you know, between the uh, CXL and, and, and the streaming database. The, the third item, so we still like working on the, this kind of the third item. So we actually want to really want to deep dive, like a failover recovery integration uh, with a gizmo. So, so we, we have a lot of the early data, but I was still working on that. Uh, but in general, like a, why we do the real time, you know, uh, for our perspective, you know, the analytic is really, we consider that's a real time. Now it's, a, it's, it's kind of a mainstream. I, you know, to look, look at that example, it's just like a, even the, you know, aircraft, you know, for fly like a, from the San Francisco to London. And, you know, when looking to the, you know, that's a one a flight, it's just like a lot of the, uh, different dimensions the real time data from sensor data you know social network data or you know IT infrastructure data it's, 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 it's huge but you know if just like a for historical reason you can do a lot of the reporting but we, we saw a lot of the the customer requirements say how to enable you know for you know to do like a security uh, detection or maybe do like improve the customer experience a lot of things we definitely we see a lot of the real time is really uh, really actionable or valuable right so so that's something we consider that's a really uh is is, is big big you know reason when analytics should be go to the real time the, the stage uh but look into the use case uh I think we talk about like a uh, finance trading, those kind of things. Everybody can understand, but uh, but uh, if if we go from the you know from manufacturing to transportation or financial or maybe observability or even for customer experience, right? So I think that's a lot of the thing. It's just like a kind of a it's just just like a new uh, revolution, you know. Consider like a previous like the traditional like a reporting or data warehouse, you know, technology, but it's just like uh, now, it's just how you enable different, uh, you know, uh, like a business department to make that decision. I think that's something really critical. Uh, so for us, so, so looking to deep dive for technology, I, I think that's something, it's not a really industry, not a total new concept. For we went back to like a 2000 or even early stage, it's more about a database. So, so database, 
But in the database at that time, just say, okay, so if you really like a really long running the, or maybe large the query, maybe take a, like a second or minutes or even hours. But how to enable a continuous query? I think there's a lot of people just around that. So, 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 uh, so that's something that, are, that stage is more focused on database. Uh, second stage is just like uh, probably you guys know the Flink or Kafka or Storm. There's a lot of uh, streaming technology just to handle. It's kind of like an event order, ordering or later event. A lot of the new model just how to handle the the the. the uh, the event uh, flow. I think that's a very total different uh, uh, programming model. Uh, so that's something we, we call the, a lot of the new technology around that. Even Flink, I think that's very de facto as a standard for, for streaming processing. Uh, so, but in the, in the, in the story of it, uh, uh, underneath, actually the, the real-time stream data is just, just dramatically increasing. So, but is that when, when we talk a lot of customers just like, a, the, the customer like a, the data, the velocity, or you know, or like EPS, like event per second. A lot of the the industry actually, that actually not a totally like a very different compared like ten years ago. So, so that's what we see the bigger mo motivation behind is a, it, it just like how 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 about the new model, right? So, so I think the the streaming processing, purely computing, and also database has a lot of the advantage to to handle those kind of the uh, the the uh, you know for accuracy or a lot or throughput, even for throughput part. So, so that's a way you consider. That's a very great time to consider converge. So that's a actually is a pretty much for time plus today. We we consider that's just like a it's kind of the converge. So very, very, uh, uh, just keep simple. So we have like a streaming kind of a real time uh, uh, tier storage. It's just like a panda, a panda law. And the second tier, like we have historical data at just like a, they can do backfill or they can do, you know, for like a large throughput analytics. They, we can connect those data. So, so that's what we call underneath, we like say, it's unified streaming storage. So, but why, why we make that? It's just like, a, we basically try to make the analytics just really, really like a real time, a low latency. So that's something that technology underneath, we, uh, we actually do a lot of the testing, even like a 10 million EPS, like an event per second. We can keep like the, even like the, like a 10 millisecond, something like that. Uh, we call it end-to-end -end, uh, latency. So, so that's something, uh, it's really like amazing the performance. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's a very high level uh, technology. But just like a, when deep dive for the streaming processing, you know, for example, like a, when we handle like a million event per second for this kind of a scale or velocity, I think it's a how to detect the pattern or detect the inside. I think definitely it's very, really, really challenge. So we just put some example, uh, some like a, a typical challenge here. The first, First thing is just like a data volume or velocity. So we, we talk a lot. It's just like a, a particularly velocity. I think velocity is really uh, uh, for streaming or real time processing is really critical here. Uh, just like a, we actually use a lot of the traditional database, even for Splunk or other technologies, to actually to analyze like a high like a trading data. Actually, we pretty mu pretty much see a lot of latency. You know. When the data is keep coming so fast, you know, analytics is so so slow. So it's really really like fall 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 behind, you know, for this kind of the uh, the data. The second thing is the real time processing. I think that's something we all the use case around the real time is a low latency. So so that's something definitely like a lot of the you have to like redesign a lot of the uh, on, uh, the infrastructure underneath. So you see a lot of pipeline or index driven or pipe, uh, you know, ETL for typically for make a lot of sense for analytics, but for the real time, it's really sometimes just like a, it's too long. Yeah. So if you just take a very long time to processing or you know for indexing or or create a lot of heavy indexing, actually the data is pretty like obsolete, right? So or, or probably too, you know, too old, right? So that's something the second challenging. The, the third one is fault tolerance. I think the Charles just mentioned that one use case. Uh, since you know streaming processing, just like uh, we actually just uh, continues the query, uh, we handle like uh, the we catch the new event, 
But when the something happen, uh, if we just like take a long time to reprocessing data, or you know, or maybe like a long time for recovery, I think that's something really hard to, you know, particularly for for tolerance. It's, it's a, we we cannot afford like a long time, you know, like a long recovery time. So that's a third third challenge. Uh, the for, first item is just like a is like a streaming, particularly for streaming uh, processing. We actually pretty care about like event ordering. Uh, event order just like when something happened like A B C. We definitely we care about the sequence. So so that's something not really uh, typical the, the the big data use case. Uh, but it, we, that's really helpful for for a lot of the uh, particularly for event model. So we care about like a. Uh, the sequence, you know, if just sequencing is the wrong order, I can definitely get a, the wrong result. So that's something uh, is a, the fourth item. Uh, the the number five is a state management. I think state is really uh, critical here. Uh, so uh, since we you know when we data like a processing data or we actually long run inquiry. So always like a state for each, uh, you know, certain granularity, we actually reserve the state. So state is huge for the, uh, for the streaming processing. Uh, for example, you know, for our, a lot of use case, we like a hundred gigabyte or even terabyte uh, the, the state. So that's a certain, create a lot of certain scenario, how leverage the, the CXL. Uh, later on, I can introduce a little bit. Uh, scalability is uh, that's another one. Just like uh, when handle the increasing the data volume, how to you know scale out dynamically, or maybe scale in. So so that's something I think very typical the data intensive uh, application. Uh, so that's uh, something we consider why we really passionate for the you know for CXL the you know share big memory. I think that's something definitely is really uh, relevant or. I, even the critical for for streaming analytics, uh, so so that's the first thing: the volume, the velocity. If we got like we, if a mentality now is go to memory centric application, I think it definitely is really like a change a lot of the uh, you know a, you know design or architecture. So so that's the number one. Uh, real time processing, I think definitely the, the very critical case is the data shuffling. So when we do map reduce or even for Spark, I think the worst case is just like data shuffling, but it's, uh, we, we just like to see pretty often. But it's really, really time consuming. So, so, so the second thing, the third thing is just like a failover. So uh, uh, even ordering or stay is definitely just a very critical topic how time plus or stream processing to manage a state. Uh, the last one is just like a job uh, rescaling. So I think that's something also relate to, uh, to, to, you know, to memory the requirements here. Uh, so, so talk about failover recovery. So I think that before, just like, uh, it's no doubt, we, we, we are huge the query state here. So when query is something, we put some query state there. Uh, when the node one just like a, maybe, you know, it, it just crashed, we, we switched to node two. And node two, the query state is just like a, uh, do replica, you know, that put the data for node two. So that's something a lot of the disk IO, network IO here. So, so that's very traditional, uh, the, the data intensive application here. So, you know, in, in general, like uh, when we do, uh, like uh, we integrate the like Gizmo or, you know, this, uh, uh, even the future six uh, on the memory here. So we definitely like see, you know, know the, remove the IO, the bottleneck here. I think definitely like this IO, network IO, we, we, we don't want to see that. So, so that's something definitely is really, uh, really, really helpful for here. So we initial testing like 20, uh, uh, 20 uh, times faster. So we, we even consider in theory, you know, CXL even faster, right? So I think the latency even for compare the local disk or even 100, 100 times, even more. So, so we definitely see a lot of room to, to even make better. Uh, data shuffling is really, uh, I think it's critical here. Uh, we, we definitely try to, you know, we, we, we really hate that, but, uh, but that's pretty normal. So, so in the petition, it's not really handled all the data uh, in the one node, right? So, so you know, some the node they just calculate some result and and they have to serve some 
some result to the another uh, computing job. So that's something really happen pretty often here. So I think that's definitely we, we can imagine. So when zero copy of one uh, six uh, memory here, I think it definitely is really, really, uh, really uh, solve the data uh, shuffling the, the challenge for, I think most of for data, data infrastructure application. Uh, I think this is huge uh, performance uh, boosting. Uh, so, so computing state, I think definitely we talk about streaming processing. Streaming state is a, a computing state is a state is very, very unique for the like a streaming processing. It's not a, we're not like a, a database, like a traditional database. So we have to keep the state a step by step. So, so state is really, uh, even for the ter uh, today for Flink, you know, so it's a lot of customers just like, a, a really big headache is managing the, the state. It's huge, yeah. And also performance is usually is a very important lag. So like Flink today, they use uh, RocksDB. RocksDB, that's a lot of tuning to, to make that happen. So 10 plus, we have its own the state management. So later on, I can introduce uh, a little bit just like how, how we manage those kind of state. So, so definitely the state, uh, uh, it just we talk about the hierarchy or cache or you know memory or disk. So so it's so complicated for the for the for the you know for 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 the data uh, analytic platform. So so that's something we definitely looking very exciting to for six cell memory here. Uh, job error scheduling is uh, also a very typical case. You know for the like uh, here node one node two we, we we definitely want to scale out to node three, so they ha we have to move a lot of state or metadata into the, uh, you know, like a repetition to the uh, the new node. So that's something we really, uh, it's a lot of it's a very expensive, you know, uh, before. So so that's something we, we definitely see, you know, when we get a, a six of memory or you know leverages uh, those kind of. You know, shared memory model. It definitely, we we don't have to, you know, to very traditional. You know, the the the, the process to 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 make very uh, heavy or slow the, the rescheduling. So that's something we call scenario four. Uh, but one deep dive, just like uh, we we just put an example here. So like here, we just like uh, try to monitor some ordering. Some, for example, like a delivery company. So we we have a lot of order. And we want to see the three day within the three day, and you know for certain user, you know, for the already like deliver the, the order, you know, which you know, which like a top five like the 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 pro, you know, expensive the item. So for example here, so so we just like use a SQL. So that's a very typical the ten plus like a real time streaming uh, SQL. So. So when we do like a DAC or like optimization here, we, we, we do a lot of like the uh, aggregation, we do some joining, and so you see that each step, you know, the, the, the red color, just we, we, we just like, a, you know, put a lot of state here. Uh, and each state, we, we just write down checkpoint. So, so that's immutable. So, so the checkpoint the coordinator just like handle all the, you know, the uh, state management. So the challenge is uh, when the you know when the state get huge like a hundred like a hundred uh, gigabyte or even terabyte, I think that's something really like the create a lot of the you know very very big challenge you know when we write the state or you know how to keep the still like keep a very high performance or low latency, and and that's just really really uh, I think that's very uh, one of the very biggest challenge for for streaming processing. So, so like here, we very uh, we actually to working closely with the member member words just like a uh, uh, small the project as uh, Charles mentioned. So, so just like a really like a, we definitely like a checkpoint. We have some design to you know just talk with like small directly. Uh, so it's one of the it's kind of the the checkpoint implementation. Uh, so we definitely like see you know this kind of. Uh, since you know that's not a typical like one terabyte, we cannot put it into, into a memory before. Or but now we, we definitely need a lot of opportunity just like uh, leverage the memory to, to make that happen. So th that's a two a little bit cold level. So we, now that so we 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 have like three different uh, implementation. Like one is a uh, leverage local file system. For example, like EBS or you know SSD, SSD. 
So the throughput, like 200, for example, like 250 megabyte, uh, megabyte per second. Uh, the second uh, checkpoint, we actually we can write, I think a lot of the database or stream processing, we put a, like a checkpoint into the S3. But that one is a throughput is super, super, uh, super low. So it's small, like the 10 megabyte or whatever. So, but it's uh, it's unlimited, you know, s scalable, right? So, so, so that's something. The S three is definitely it's a lot of the advantage. Uh, the last one, we just uh, we just added the the last one is a bit small the the checkpoint. So that's something we we, we now the handle the the three uh, different uh, uh, implementation. So, so actually, I want to put uh, some data, but we we early data just like a really uh, conservative, like 20, uh, 20 times. Uh, but you know, technically, you know, for Gizmo, like uh, you, you, we use a uh, six, uh, like an uh, emulator, right? So, so now the the data. So I think that's uh, even for technically so the, the last one, even even like a throughput like two hundred fifty uh, times compared to the local uh, storage like a, like a SSD. So, so that's something we certainly want to, to try to make that happen. Uh, latency even like more than 100, 100 uh, 160 times so c compare the local storage the s3 you too slow so if it's a real time you know, we, we definitely don't want to compare the, the s3 so so that's a bit small i think it definitely is very uh, very powerful for 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 our you know the streaming processing the uh, uh those kind of scenario no yeah, so last one is really is our passion. Really, uh, we, we, we really, today we really care about latency. We call the latency expensive or, or sensitive. So, so a lot of analytic use case, you know, I think it's a, more and more use case really care about uh, the latency. Uh, so, so that's something uh, really our really focus, like a financial trading or even for, for like uh, the, uh, transportation or those kind of thing i think that's definitely is really uh, obvious you know second you know look in the future i think definitely the analytics should be moved to the the real time uh and and, and also make analytic actionable so that's something really definitely really really passionate to to make that happen so underneath so, so we, we really are committed to make the platform uh so that's why i really uh want to Work with you guys like a member Verge or Sexel, a lot of the hardware you know company to try to you know you know the infrastructure really really critical to enable this journey. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Any question? A little bit different topic here. <laughs> no question. Thank you. No.